Oke kalau gitu nih, hari ini kita akan menyelesaikan puzzle baru Yaitu Fred Slender yeah. Jadi kali ini kita akan menyelesaikan Mas Slender lagi Tapi kali ini Mas Slender episode 2 Yeay Kalau kemarin kita udah menyelesaikan Mas Slender episode 1 Kali ini episode 2 Yang dimana di episode 1 kemarin Itu kalian disuruh mendaratkan uh, roket secara vertikal Tapi di Mars Lander episode 2 ini Kalian sama seperti Mars Lander episode 1 Harus mendaratkan roket Tetapi dari arah yang berbeda Wow, jadi di sini kalian benar-benar harus mengkontrol roket kalian supaya mendarat di tempat yang benar. Levelnya juga medium ya, kalau kemarin itu levelnya easy, sekarang itu medium. Nah, di sini agak susah karena kalian akhirnya bisa menggunakan input-input yang ada gitu ya. Kalau kemarin kan kalian disuruh mengabaikan beberapa input, ya kan? Kalau sekarang kalian harus menggunakan inputnya. Nah, ini lebih challenging nih. Ya udah. Kalian coba dulu ya sendiri di rumah, baru kalian bisa bandingkan hasil kalian dengan hasil aku. Yuk, aku mau langsung aja nih menyelesaikan solusi untuk Mars Lander episode 2 ini. Langsung aja, Juli! without trigonometry, yes, okay. and with trigonometry for the people who studied it at school, yes? Oh, oke. Okay. Nah, jadi hari ini kita akan belajar untuk menyelesaikan puzzle ini tanpa trigonometri untuk kali ini. Tapi, tentu saja untuk selanjutnya kita akan mengadakan versi dengan trigonometri karena pastikan beberapa dari kalian takutnya ada yang belum belajar trigonometri. Jadinya kita akan mencarikan atau menyelesaikan solusi bersama tanpa trigonometri dulu, oke? Okay? <laughs> Nah, sekarang kita balik lagi ya ke sini. Yuk, kita baca yuk uh, detailsnya. Oke, okay. nah ini dia tampilan Mars Lander episode 2. Sebenarnya yang kita pelajari itu sama aja seperti Mars Lander episode pertama kemarin ya. Cuman lebih sulit aja. Jadi di kapal penjelajah Mars ini ceritanya membawa kalian ke atas area berbatu. Wow. Kalian harus meninjau dan meningkatkan teknik turun untuk mendaratkan Mars rover kalian dengan aman di atas Mars atau di platform. Wonderful. Also, let's see a couple of scenario to uh -huh. see the strategy. Yes? Then yes. we need to follow, yes? Yes. For nah, example. jadi mm -hmm. di sini itu kalau kemarin di Mars Lander episode 1 itu test cases-nya itu selalu vertikal ke bawah. Nah, di sini itu beda. Di sini ada beberapa test cases yang harus kita coba dan semuanya itu berbeda tempatnya. Ya, rintangannya itu berbeda. Nah, di sini seperti yang bisa kalian lihat. Yes, yeah, so I was checking two of the most difficult ones and as yeah. we can see There are some high mountains, yeah. so we need to fly very high until we are over the landing area, and then we can go down. Okay, yes. Jadi yes. di sini tuh ber, berbatu gitu, jalannya kita jalan sampai nabrak. Oh, nah ini kali, pesawat kalian meledak <laughs> karena kalian harus landing di tempat yang datar. Oke, okay, mm -hmm. di sini kita coba test cases high ground. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Yes, and also Ooh. here is the same. You see, the landing area is very high. <laughs> 
So the best strategy is we stay high yeah. until we are over the landing area and then we go down. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Di sini juga sama aja, banyak batu-batu, tapi kalau di ke kasus sebelumnya itu kan batunya tinggi-tinggi, kalau di sini batunya itu uh, rendah-rendah. Namun pesawat kita itu di keluarnya dari sebelah kanan ya. Sedangkan kita harus landing di sebelah kiri yang datar itu tadi. Oke, okay. nah jadi kalian harus mengelola dan memperkirakan kecepatan pesawat ruang angkasa Oke, okay? dan membuatnya mendarat di tanah datar dengan kecepatan yang tepat Yeay, she sharp today Oke, okay, hari ini kita akan pakai she sharp ya untuk menyelesaikan masalahnya ini Oke okay. Wonderful, so this is the code that comes with coding game Iya, yes. yes. jadi ini adalah code yang secara otomatik datang dari coding game Hmm. Okay. And like we did in Mars Lander 1, mm -hmm. similarly, yes, we create a place where we read the inputs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is the Mars Lander inputs. Yeah, ini ada input dari Mars Lander. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna say read Mars, Mars. surface. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, here, static void. Okay. Yeah. Mars surface. surface. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. And then we do something similar with the inputs every round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So so here we do read the eight inputs. Yes. And we. Uh, also oh, we do the same. Yeah. Static read. Yeah. Static for it read. Update inputs. Perfect. Lalu kita paste. <laughs> Oke, okay, di sini ada input inputnya. Seperti yang bisa kalian lihat di sini ada variabel. Great. So next, let's learn something new. Yes. Wow. Yeah, because one thing I don't like very much is this in parse, in parse, in parse, repeated many times. Oke, okay, jadi It's... di sini tuh in parse itu berulang-ulang terus dari horizontal speednya itu harus kita convert gitu kan jadinya yeah. kita mau ganti oke okay. so let's do something that reads one line mm -hmm. splits it but then instead of returning you know an array of uh, strings yeah. it returns an array of ints okay. yeah, so we don't need to convert to int every time okay yeah. and then we use it both here yeah, and here okay. okay yes okay yeah Okay, so this is a new concept. Yeah. There are a couple of new concepts here. One, let's start to learn about the list. list. Yeah, wow. This is medium level difficulty, <laughs> so... <laughs> sebelumnya kita belum pernah belajar di video-video sebelumnya tentang list. Nah, kali ini kita akan belajar apa itu list. Okay. Good. So a list, of course, is a list of variables. You know, I mean, several variables. In this yeah. case, they're all int. Yes? yes. Jadi ada beberapa variable yang dimana di sini semua variabelnya itu int. Kita akan menaruhnya di list. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we get it by doing two lists. Okay, cara That's mendapatnya ikannya mm -hmm. itu, cara mendapatkan list mm -hmm. yang ada dari variabel itu, kita akan pakai to list. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, we know that when we do this, we get many strings. Okay. A group of strings. Yeah. Yes. And then we can apply to the group the same int parts yeah. to all of them in this way. Yes. And then after we send it to a list, and that's how we get it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> So now we can make it a little bit prettier, finally. Yeah. Okay, kita pindahin ke atas. Okay, okay. so we're gonna use this. Red line. Uh, yeah. Yes. So now we don't need any more to do int.parse. Yeah. Yes. Karena kan tadi kan int.parse, hampir semua int.parse. Nah, sekarang kita tinggal masukin input. Aja. Nah, kemarin di Mars Lander episode 1 itu, pesawatnya hanya turun ke bawah, jadi kita selalu menggunakan vertical split. Namun kali ini kita akan menggunakan keduanya. Dan kita tuh akan banyak bermain di angle juga, karena pesawatnya itu akan datang dari sisi kiri atau sisi kanan yang tak terduga gitu. Oke. Okay. Perfect. And then to make the code a little bit shorter, mm -hmm. yes, we're going to define these variables at the beginning. Oke. Okay. Jadi uh, hak speed ini tuh ada horizontal speed, yes. Ini bisa aja negatif. Nah, untuk vertical speed juga sama. Alright, so we we'll put them here. Yeah. Static. Static. Uh, int. Then we're gonna x. We're gonna have Uh, no, x, y, h, c, v, v, okay. okay, cool, and uh, then we need the outputs, yeah. yes, so let's do it now, static, static. int, uh, output. output, or angle, yes, yes. Uh, zero, and static, int, output, first, 
Jadi kalau Terus tuh kayak power gitu ya tekanan. Ya yeah, the okay. power ya. Yeah. Cool. And then here. Di, nah di sini di outputnya ini console dot line kita akan masukkan dengan. Mm -hmm. Nama. Okay. Perfect. Solid. Ya, di sini output angle lalu kita masukin output power. Oke, okay, let's also write some explanations, yes, yes. of the meaning of this. Mm -hmm. Nah, di sini jadi X itu ada lender karen, jadi tempat kalian, tempat kalian saat ini, gitu, oke? Okay? Perfect. Aha. Lalu juga ada horizontal speed, ada vertical speed, yang dimana kalian bisa lihat di komen itu ada penjelasannya apa itu, oke? Okay? Perfect. Yeah. So now, we, as we said, we need to know information. Where is the surface flat in yes. Mars? Yes, oke. Okay. Yes? And here there is a new concept. There okay. are some variables in C sharp uh -huh. where instead of one number, yeah, you can have three. more numbers. Okay. For example, in this case, three, three numbers. Mm -hmm. And also you can give it a name to each of the three numbers. Okay. Yeah? So the first is left, middle, me. yeah. and right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is called tuple, tuple. Tuple. Okay. Yes. Nah, di sini juga tuple adalah sesuatu yang baru yang kalian belum tahu, ya. Yeah. Maksudnya yang belum kita pelajari di video sebelumnya. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's go and calculate where the surface is flat. Okay. okay. Now this is how we get the input. Yes. Yeah. And as you can see, where is you know we have the x and the y of the surface of Mars. Okay. And where the y is the same, it means that it's a flat piece okay. of the surface. Basically, yes. it is gonna be you no. Know, this piece is flat. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. All right. So let's remember the points. Yeah. Again, yeah. we use a tuple as before. Yeah. So a couple of points, one called x and one y, yeah. for each point. Okay? Yes. Okay. We read the inputs, mm -hmm. and this time directly the ints. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then we create a point. Yes. Okay. So every time you, you have uh, this tuple, you have to put two parentheses like this. Yeah. Okay. So we have inputs zero is going to be the x. Yes. And inputs. Good. One, two, three, one. Yeah. Nah, two. sekarang kita bisa langsung aja bikin bowl yang okay. dimana di video sebelumnya kita juga udah belajar apa itu boolean. Nah, sini bowl is flat. Yes, it's gonna be the y of the current point, point. if it's equal to the y of the previous point. Previous point. Okay. And then, because this, you know, cannot go negative, then we, we can do it only when i is greater than zero. Yeah? Okay. Otherwise, we cannot calculate this. Okay, okay. yes. Perfect. And now, This we don't need anymore. Yeah, kita bisa hapus. So now if is flat, yes? Yes. So if it's flat, we have to remember the information about the landing yes. area. Yes. Uh -huh. So we're gonna say that flat, flat dot left. Yeah. That will be the previous point. point dot x. x. Yeah. Flat, flat dot, dot right. right. It's gonna be the current. Point. Yes. Dot x. Yes. And then let's remember also the middle because we will try to land sometimes in the middle. Okay. Okay. So let's calculate it here. Dot middle. So that will be the average. Left. Plus left. Dot right. Dibagi dua. Okay. Okay. So to summarize, we read the surface of Mars, mm -hmm. but this time instead we remember the points. Yeah. To do so, we create a list. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we add to this list every yes. time, you know, x and y. Okay. And then we we check whether we found a flat. Yes. Point. You know, yeah. A y flat. And then if we find it, then we remember the x. Yeah. yeah. Of the landing, landing area. area. Now, what is important that we do? Well, we know that there are at least minimum two cases. Yes. yes. If we are over the landing area, then we must go down slowly, vertically. Yeah. So yeah. with horizontal speed zero. Ya, jadi kalau misalnya kita udah dekat sama landing area, nih kalau pesawat kita itu udah dekat di tempat di mana kita akan landing, nah kita harus pasang horizontal speednya itu zero, oke? Okay? Karena kita udah dekat di area landing. Kecuali kalau kita masih di luar area atau masih jauh, nah kita masih boleh memainkan angle lainnya, gitu. Jadi itu kalau misalnya kita minta angle-nya itu berapa, berapa derajat? Misalnya kalian minta 90 derajat, nah itu tuh nggak bakalan langsung berpindah ke 90, jadi ada step by stepnya gitu ya. Tergantung berapa kali Mars Lander ini update atau memperbarui uh, perjalanannya. Oke? Okay? Perfect. So, if we are over the landing area, we yeah. know that the desired speed will be zero. zero okay. Because otherwise we crash. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harus nol, karena kalau selain dari nol, terus meledak. Yeah. <laughs> 
And uh, if we are away, then uh -huh. we have to go to you know the, the landing area. Yes. yes. With a certain speed that we have to decide. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> also, we know that we cannot move at 90 degrees. So let's say we are very far. Yeah. Of course, you know the desired angle would be let's say 90 degrees, but that's too much an angle. We would crash down yeah. if we go horizontal. Correct. Yes. So we need to have. We cannot go at 90. Yeah. Let's say we there is a maximum. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when we are near, let's put as a maximum a small number so that we move only a little bit. Yes. 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 Instead, if we are far, let's put as a maximum some, some big some number. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But always much smaller than 90. Yes. And then we'll try different numbers to see what works and what doesn't work. Yes. Karena kan kalau misalnya kita taruh 90 sebagai angle-nya, itu tuh nanti muternya gitu terlalu berlebihan. Ya, nanti udah muternya terlalu berlebihan, terus ada speed-nya juga, nanti pesawatnya malah kemana-mana atau malah jadi meledak. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sekarang kita akan menjelaskan apa itu is over landing area, oke? Okay? Nah, kat, sekarang kita buat variable. Actually, surprise surprise, we do something different. We introduce something new. Uh -huh. Instead of a variable uh -huh. which would be this, yes. Yes. We're going to put this. Wow. wow, what is that? <laughs> so, a variable takes some space in memory. Okay. And there you put some number, you know, yeah. in memory. Okay. But another thing you can do in C sharp, which is I think very cool, mm -hmm. you can define a calculation rule. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, that's what we do. We say, well, every time you need to know if it's uh, sorry, the bull, if it's over the landing area, you know, apply a certain formula. Yeah. Okay. Jadi di sini itu some, kelihatannya kayak variable tadi itu, tapi ternyata ini bukan variable. Ternyata ini hanya aturan, rumus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so for example, in this case, the rule could be, well, if the x uh, must be greater or equal to flat dot yes. left. Okay. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one case, yes. yes. But at the same time, should be uh, smaller than flat dot right. Okay. Correct? Correct. Okay, so what does this mean again? This is not a variable, yeah? Even though you're right before, I could have written a variable, yes? Uh, so you are correct, yes. <laughs> but I want to use, I want to introduce the properties. These yes. are all properties. properties. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So these are variables. This is a variable. This is a variable. Yeah, this is a variable. But this is a rule of calculation. Yes. Called property. Perfect. Nah, jadi di sini itu uh, bukan sesuatu yang tersimpan di dalam memori, tapi ini tuh hanya aturan yang mana kalau kalian butuh kalian tinggal pakai aja. Namanya property. Okay. Perfect. Great. Okay. So now let's start to write this. Yeah, what is the desired angle? Okay. This is the most important part of our code. Yes. Yeah, ideally, it should be done with trigonometry, as they said. So <laughs> we're going to use an approximated formula initially for the people who prefer not to use trigonometry. Okay. Yeah. Jadi memudahkan kalian yang belum belajar trigonometri untuk melihat uh, atau menyelesaikan puzzle Mars Lander ini. So get desired angle. We have the desired speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the speed is always a positive number. Yeah. Yes. And uh, but of course, we need to know in which direction we want to move with that speed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that this is called the velocity. Okay. Yes. So the desired velocity uh -huh. yeah, is basically like the speed. Cuma bedanya kalau velocity itu bisa bisa aja negatif atau positif. Sedangkan kalau speed itu akan selalu positif. And then we have to multiply by the desired direction. Yeah. And this can be minus one or plus one or of course zero. Uh, and then, once we have the desired velocity, yes, we need to accelerate to that velocity. Yeah, let's yeah. imagine that our speed initially is zero, yeah, our h speed is zero, but then we want to go 100, yeah, then we have to accelerate. Yeah, the acceleration is the difference between velocities. Yeah, okay, so in the desired acceleration, yeah, gonna be the desired velocity, velocity. minus the current velocity. velocity. Now, uh, coding game calls it speed, h speed, but in reality it's a velocity yes. because you know, it can be plus or minus yeah. this number, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ini tuh cuman kayak, cuman kayak coding game itu ngasih namanya uh, horizontal speed, padahal dia itu sebenarnya velocity, karena nomornya ini bisa kadang-kadang ganti jadi positif, kadang-kadang negatif. Perfect. And then we, we make a formula here, uh, based on the acceleration, yeah. to get the angle. Yeah, angle yeah. Okay. But first, let's write the desired direction. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, and desired direction. Okay. Uh, first of all, 
we have to see where we are, where the lander is, and where we want to be. Yeah. Okay, so we want to be a flat dot mid in the middle of the landing area. Yeah. Yes, and we are in X. Yes. Okay, so that is the distance yeah. that we have to cover. Yes, correct? Correct. So this is where we want to be, that's where we are, that's the distance. Yeah. Okay, but for the direction, like we did in Thor, Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> Kalau kalian masih ingat di Thor ini kita ambil tanda sign. Yeah. Bravo, exactly. So the sign of the distance, yeah, this can be plus minus or, or zero, no, plus one, minus one or zero. Yeah. yeah. And that's the direction. Yes. Nah, jadi di sini tuh yang flat dot mid itu tuh adalah sesuatu tempat yang ingin kita tuju nantinya, tujuan kita gitu. Nah, x ini adalah posisi kita saat ini, gitu ya. Lalu kita ambil signnya nih. Oke. Okay. Perfect. And we can make it a property, mm -hmm. yes, because I know that we will need it again in other places. Yeah. So let's make it a property. A property. Nah, jadi setiap kali kita butuh, kita bisa ambil aturan rumusnya ini, gitu. Karena ini kan property, kita buat property sekarang. So static. Static. Uh, no, it's a direction. Okay. Okay. Okay, again. So this is sun is one, if we want to go left, yes? Yeah, lalu plus uh, one, one, one to go right, right, or zero. And zero, don't In move the... with something, yeah? Okay. So, okay. All right, so now let's continue to yes. write our desired angle. Okay. Okay. So here, if we don't use trigonometry, yeah, let's uh -huh. make a rough approximation. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> clamp. Yeah. Yes, maximum clamp means we get a number yeah. between a minimum and a maximum. maximum. Okay. Yeah, so for example, if the desired acceleration is 500 for some reason, yes, yeah. because we are very, very, very far, yes, we know that uh, the maximum it will be max angle. Yes. Okay. okay. So for example, max angle is 60. Yes. Okay. All right. So here we know the desired acceleration. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then uh, So then we need to set a minimum, yeah, which would be the angle with the you know, if it's 60 minus 60. Yes, yes. yes. And the maximum max 60. Okay. Okay. And the acceleration, that's not precisely an angle, of course, right? Okay. So we multiply by two to make it a bit bigger. I know this is yes. not scientific, but uh trigonometry is scientific and we will do it later. Okay. But this is just to get the first approximation. Yeah. Let's start to see what happens. Yes. Nah itu uh, yang tadi itu adalah draft pertama kita. Sekarang kita akan coba untuk ngetes the easy on the right. <laughs> the first cases. <laughs> oh mamma mia. Ah ini dia. Wow. Kemana itu dia lagi? Dan hilang hilang di tempat ini nggak tahu kemana dia. Harusnya itu mendaratnya di tempat yang datar ini ya di area platform yang datar itu. <laughs> Okay, clearly is the opposite sign, okay, yeah. of the acceleration. Yeah, sekarang kita kasih tanda minus biar dia perginya itu ke arah sebaliknya. Nah, okay, kelihatannya benar. Oh, hey. wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, kenapa masih salah? <laughs> okay, so clearly... Mm, Tadi kan... Kalau yang pertama tadi itu dia salah, dia pergi ke arah sebaliknya itu karena kita belum tanpa kaitan minus ya kan. Nah kita udah ubah pakai minus itu biar dia pergi ke arah sebaliknya. <laughs> Tapi masih salah juga. Nah sekarang kita lihat ini. <laughs> <laughs> itu dia pesawatnya kali ini dia malah naik ke atas karena apa? Karena kita kayaknya kekencangan deh atau terlalu terlalu awal memasuki powernya gitu. <laughs> Jadi dia malah ke atas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to make some changes here, yes? <laughs> nah, berarti sekarang kesimpulannya kita harus mengubah biar pesawatnya itu enggak pergi terlalu ke atas gitu. Yang mana kita harus ganti di uh, powernya, power yang kita berikan kepada pesawat itu ya. Okay. Okay, so I'm sure that you said that we can't go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's we shouldn't go up too much. <laughs> okay, so let's say that if we're moving up, yeah. then uh, we should uh, reduce the power. Okay, okay. Yeah. jadi kita harus kurangi kecepatan power yang kita berikan tadi. Okay, so upper thrust, equal free. Yeah, so 4 is too much sometimes when we're going up. Yeah. 
then we have to go with less power. Yeah, yeah. berarti tiga, ya, karena empat itu kan yang maksi power maksimum. And uh, also when we are landing, yeah, we already know that from Mars Lander One that when we are vertical, yeah. yes, uh, we should go at a low speed if we are not moving too fast. Yeah, if yes. we're moving too fast, we should go at four. But if no, if we're not moving too fast, less than four. Yes, yes. from Mars Lander One. Okay, let's do also this. Nah, di sini sama aja kayak Mars Lander kemarin yang pertama. Landing speed is okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So in these two cases, we know already that you know the speed should, you know, the power should be less. Okay. Yes. Jadi kita masuk ke tiga. Kalau tadi itu uh, empat. Okay. So the landing speed. Uh, this is a bull. Yes. Yes. This is okay. So we know from Mars Lander One that this when the vertical speed is less than forty. Do you remember the maximum vertical speed? Remember. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. So this should take care when we are over the landing area. Yes. yes. Otherwise. Uh, we need this if it's moving up. I think we need is moving up many times. So yeah. let's make it proper. Okay. okay. So static wall is moving, moving up. up. Yeah, that is if the vertical speed is positive. Do you remember from our slender one that the vertical speed negative means it's falling? Yes? Remember, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if the vertical speed is greater than zero, zero. yeah, that means it is moving up. Yes. Okay. These parentheses are not necessary, but I think it makes it more readable. Yeah. Sebenarnya uh, kurung buka sama kurung tutup yang ada kalian lihat di layar ini sebenarnya nggak terlalu perlu. Ya bukan aturan dari C Sharp. Ini cuma beauty aja. Great. Let's check if it's better. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ini bergerak ke arah yang benar ya. Well, this now is not going too much up, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. It's landing. Yes. Wow. Nah, dia turun, dia matiin roket, oh. dia meledak lagi. <laughs> nah, dia matiin roketnya tadi. Okay. So, all good, what happened here? We finished the fuel. Yes. That was the problem, right? I mean, the logic was good, but look, uh, we're doing well. And then, you see the, the fuel, the fuel, you see, was very low. Ya, kalian bisa that, lihat di layar komputer kalian. Yeah. Itu ada fuelnya habis, makanya roketnya itu mati. Tadi kan tiba-tiba, oh kok dia matiin roketnya? Dia mematikan roketnya, ternyata feel-nya habis. Ya. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so clearly we have to move faster than uh, yes. 20. Yeah. Okay. So let's try 100. Oh. Okay. I think we already tried 100 before. Ah! Actually, yeah? So 100 is too much. Cepetan, cepetan. But in some situations, we are very far and we need to move fast, actually. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I think we have to say that if we are far, we move at a high speed. Okay. And if we are near, we move at a lower speed. Okay. Yeah, and then if you are over, we have to move at zero. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, setuju. Jadi kalau misalnya dia masih jauh, kita harus kasih kecepatan yang paling cepat. Gitu. Kalau udah deket tempat landing, baru agak pelanin. Kurangin kecepatannya, okay? Alright. Alright. Ini masih sama nih kayak yang tadi, sama-sama properti juga. So again, we need the distance. Yeah. We yeah. said we need to learn distance in this oh. uh, exercise. So again, far is a concept of distance. If the yes. distance yeah. is too far, yes. Okay. So as we know, the distance yeah. is you know, where we want to go, where we are, right? Yeah. So that is uh, flat dot mid minus x. Yes. Yes. But this would have a sign. Yes. So. Uh -huh. We're gonna put it math.apps to eliminate the sign. Yes. yes. So this is the distance. Now, if the distance is bigger than a certain limit, yeah. Yeah, let's say uh, far uh, distance. distance, then it's far. Okay. okay. Perfect. Now let's define far distance. Yeah, so there will be a constant. Constance. Nah, di sini kita harus tentuin nih jarak terjauhnya mau kita taruh itu berapa gitu misalnya. Nah, kita tentuin 2 km. Oke. Okay. So, the idea is that if it's far, yeah, we move a certain speed. If it's yes. near, yeah, we put a different speed. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, let's do it here. If it's far. Yes. yes. Let's say we move the speed. And if it's near, near. that would be else. Sorry. Else. else. Yeah. Yes. We have to move at a different speed. Let's say that because we already did some attempts before, 20 works quite well. 
Also, when we move at a low speed, uh -huh. we have to move with a smaller angle as well. You oh. know, we have to be, be more precise yeah. in our movements. Yes, okay? ketika kita mau mengubah rotasinya, ya, mengubah angle, kali ini kita akan menggunakan angle yang agak kecilan. Okay, so if we're far, we want to go faster and with a more risky angle. Okay. Instead of we're near, we want to go slow with uh, angle yang tepat. Yes. less risky, no? We maneuver more carefully. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, kita coba lagi. Wow, cuma nyelesain satu aja susah banget. Okay, sekarang dia pergi ke arah yang tepat, ya. Oh, iya, 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 iya. Tebak, kalian tebak kira-kira akan berhasil atau enggak? Yeay! Yeay! Akhirnya kita berhasil melewati rintangan ini. Ya ampun, satu kasus aja susah banget. Nah, tapi let's try the second cases. Yes. What do you think? I'm curious to see when we are far and when we are not far. Okay. Right? So Tadi here we are kami, far. Uh -huh. Yeah, then here we are near, you see we change angle, and now here we are over. Yes, kita udah di tempat landing, nih sekarang tempat mendarat, tapi kalian bisa lihat apa yang akan terjadi. Wow! <laughs> jadi gini, jadi meskipun kalian udah nulis code tadi, udah tulis rumus code gitu ya, dan akhirnya kasus pertama itu terselesaikan, belum berarti kasus kedua juga bisa diselesaikan oleh code yang pertama tadi kalian tulis. Uh, tandanya code kalian itu belum benar untuk semua kasus. Nah, aku kasih tahu nih, kalian kalau misalnya mau tulis code, kalian itu harus tulis code yang bekerja untuk semua kasus. Nah, ini code ini yang tadi aku tulis, cuman berguna untuk satu kasus. Belum bisa menyelesaikan semua kasus-kasus yang ada. Wow. Rintangannya sulit banget. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so what was the mistake? Apa masalahnya? So, the mistake is we came, everything was perfect, but we came crashing down too fast. Yes, okay. jadi... So the reason is that when I wrote length the speed is okay, I was wrong because I forgot that this is not the speed, it's a velocity. Oh! Okay, so actually, <laughs> we have to do math.apps. Dot dot But I didn't want to change the name, you know, because... Yeah, it's uh, okay. Coding game calls it speed, so let's call yeah. it speed. But then, because it's a velocity, we have to do apps to have the speed. Oh, and then, okay. here's the speed, okay. Oh, okay. Let's try again. It's okay. Nah, sekarang kita berganti, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. very good. Right okay, in the middle, right? Uh -huh. More or less. Perfect. Great! Yay! Nah, tadi kan aku udah bilang kalau kalian nulis code itu harus berguna untuk semua kasus. Nah, tadi ini yang aku tulis bukan code yang salah, tapi kita salah tulis, lupa kasih math.abs tadi. Karena ini velocity, ya. Perfect. Actually, I'm very curious to see when we are far, when we are over. Yes, to do uh, a bit more feedback. Okay, let's write some debug information. Okay. Okay. Ini console dot error ni maksudnya debug. Yes, you're right. So error in reality means debug information. Yes. Yeah. In coding game. Yeah. Perfect. So for example, let's see if we are far or not. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. Far. far. Yes. And then let's see if we are over the landing yeah. area. Yes. Yes. Is over landing area. Is over landing area. Good, good so far, yes. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so let's try the next case, maybe. Yes. Kita coba ni kasus yang ketiga ya, mak. Dengan kode yang tadi tu, apakah bisa menyelesaikan kasus yang ketiga juga atau enggak? Oh, 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 oh. So when you see that this information. Yes. Yeah, is over landing area true before it was false? Yes. Is far false? You see? Yeah. <laughs> Akhirnya bisa menyelesaikan untuk kasus yang nomor tiga juga. Nah kalian bisa lihat sekarang di game information di sini ada standar error stream yang mana tadi kita mau tulis di, di bug. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, the beginning we started already very near and we started with a very high speed actually. Yeah. You see, ninety. So that was too near, too fast actually. Yes. Nah di sini is far. Right. False. False. Karena dia, yeah, yeah. karena kita deket banget sama tempat landing. False. Yeah. And then we we are trying to go to 20 speed, okay. but then we ended up. Sini is over landing area masih false karena kita belum berada di tempat untuk landing. Now over landing area true because now we nah, and now we try to go to zero. Yeah. So you see we try okay. to go to zero but we can't and we go out of oh. landing area again. <laughs> Tadi udah sempat true padahal. And now we try to go to what it was. Yes. 
Nah sekarang ini sudah mulai mendekati climbing area. Eh 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 eh. Nabi lagi zero. <laughs> cool cool cool. cool. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Alright. Next case. Oh, I'm not sure. Haha, <laughs> let's try. <laughs> Ayo kalian tebak kira-kira code yang tadi udah kita tulis itu akan berlaku juga untuk kasus keempat atau tidak. Wow, rintangannya kayak mana? Sini sini batu. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, we got another winner! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Fantastic! We're oh. almost there! Wow, nah di sini ada kasus terakhir nih ya. <laughs> <laughs> kasus terakhir. Next Ayo, case. high ground. So, let's see. Oh, 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 Okay, I think here we need to move a little bit slower. Okay. We already started at the speed of 50. Yes, instead in the other cases it was the speed 90, 100, yeah. yes. Or sometimes zero. Uh, okay, so I would say if um, if we move in the right direction, yeah. yes, like here, we have a speed of 50 in the right direction. Then let's just try to use the same speed. Okay. Yeah, okay. so this way we should just stay vertically, slowly, 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 slowly. Right there. What do you think? Yeah, good idea. That's good idea. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Oke, okay. <laughs> karena kode ini tadi masih gagal untuk menyelesaikan kasus yang kelima, sekarang kita akan mengubah sedikit dari kecepatan sama angle pesawat itu, oke? Okay. <laughs> Great, alright, so we said that if we are moving already in the right direction, yeah. oke? Okay. Okay. So first we need to know what is the current direction. Yes, yes. jadi... Uh -huh. okay. The current direction horizontally in which we are uh, moving, yes? Yes. So that would be the oh, the sign yes. of the horizontal speed, yes? Yes, the sign. Okay, horizontal speed. So that's the current direction. So this is the desired direction. This is the current direction. So now we can calculate if we're moving in the, the right. desired direction, yeah? Yes. So move, uh, moving. Move, moving. Okay. Uh, moving to, to the desired direction. direction. Equal if these two are the same, yes? Okay, yes. Yeah, so if the desired direction is the same as the current, current direction. direction, yes. Oh, sorry, current direction. Oh, All right. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now what we need to do at the very beginning, we have to decide the desired speed at yes. the very beginning. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we need to read the inputs before the game loop once, okay? Okay. Because otherwise we do this. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, the game inputs. Okay. So we read the input once. Yeah. Yes, and of course, when we read, we have to write, okay? Okay. So we need to always read and write. So the first time, um, we can just try to go uh, vertically, yeah? Yes, so secara vertikal, yes. Okay. Oke, okay, jadi di sini pertama-tama kita tulis angle-nya itu 0 dan power-nya juga 0. Zero. Oke. Okay. Ini di update pertama. Uh, Oke. Okay. So this will be just the first update and then for the other updates we do the game loop. Game loop. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Yes. And then we can say int um desired, desired. initial uh, speed. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Yeah. So desired initial speed equal yeah. If we are moving in the desired direction, yes? Yes. Then we use The, the speed that uh, is given to us by coding game, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. But we know that this, the, so this is the velocity, yes? yes. So the speed is always... <laughs> Math.abs, oops. Math dot abs. Yes. Ini velocity. Bravo, this would be the velocity, perfect. Otherwise, yes, we know that we want to go at this, because this was working, yes? yes? So we want to go this, and here, instead of putting always 100... We put also desired initial speed. Voilà. So sometimes it's going to be 100, but if we're already moving in the correct direction, yes, we, we use the speed. Yeah, yes. we have the beginning from, from the game. Yeah, Perfect. okay. Wonderful. Now we try it, but I, want, I don't like all these numbers. I would like to uh -huh. have a little bit of... Uh, so this 100, I don't like, you know, let's, let's just give it a name, okay? Okay. As always. So cons, cons in. In, this would be the uh, of max speed, yes? Yes, max speed. Max speed. Oh, yeah. Sorry, no, speed. Lalu kita masukin 100. Kita kasih nama biar nggak selalu 100 gitu setiap kali kita ingin menggunakannya. Jadi kita bisa tulis namanya aja. Oke? Okay? And uh, yeah, why is not happy? Oh, because sorry. Property. Property. 
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Lots of these items. Here it is. Yes, you're right. That was not a property. Perfect. Great. All right. So now let's see whether it works better. Yeah. This is going to be bigger. Okay. So. I'm curious. Kayaknya sih bakal berhasil ya. Aku udah lihat nih tanda-tanda yang udah kecil. Perfect. You see, so it was just moving at the same speed of 50, you see? Yeah. And because it was not too high, then we can make a small adjustment when yeah. we are near, and then when we are over, another small adjustment. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow. wow! Let's see if now everything works. So the first okay, case, the second 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 case, Yang and of course, the last case we know that works. Yay! Success! <laughs> oh, akhirnya, ya ampun, susah banget ya master dari episode 2 ini. Padahal levelnya masih medium loh. Masih ada satu level lagi hard nanti di masa depan. Wow, pasti lebih susah daripada yang ini. <laughs> so next time we will see trigonometry. Oh, Another yeah. video because it's long, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jadi. <laughs> Jadi untuk video kali ini kayaknya kita akan selesai sampai di sini deh. Kita submit dulu, oke? Okay. Uh, untuk trigonometrinya kita akan selesaikan di video selanjutnya, oke? Okay. Oke. Okay. Let's submit, oh, no. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> submit. Mm, let's see here. Get one hundred. Yay! Kantong kita. Meskipun gak pakai trigonometri, tapi tetap kita dapat nilai 100 ya. Dan untuk video trigonometrinya kita akan tampilkan di video selanjutnya setelah ini. Oke, okay, teman-teman keluarga coding, sampai sini dulu ya video kali ini. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Bye!